appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Kalok is dead! Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters! You now have the chance to join our ranks! We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats! I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. How do you make you I'm Evie be... Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBee. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I ain't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? This is serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine, Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, oh, um, Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor, and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, it looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Static will be weakened. Only, we are somewhat at a handicap. And, there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not buy me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the Static Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged, and they have 